All right, wanted to make a quick emergency video for uh, any resident in Florida because I wanted to re remind you of a few things you might not be thinking of. We got 36 hours uh, before the storm hits. I live in central Florida. I'm right on the edge of the evacuation zone, so I'm expecting 60, probably 70 mile an hour winds, but I've got hurricane windows. Uh, if you don't have hurricane windows, you might want to uh, shutter those windows in some fashion. Uh, I, I imagine not, not everybody in my area has emergency windows. The second thing I want you to do right away, vote, 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 and vote now. I got my ballot right here, and I'm not talking, don't put it in the mail. They're going to stop mail delivery tomorrow, okay? I want you to physically drive to the drop box and get your vote in now. They're predicting that the power is going to be out at least three days. You're probably going to be without power in Central Florida for about a week. Count on it, okay? If you've got, oh, these are things I want you to think about, okay? Obviously, you've gone out and you've picked up your supplies. I imagine the shelves are pretty empty right now in the stores, okay? But the things you're not thinking about, if you've got laundry, get it done now. If you've got dishes, do your dishes now. If you've got a refrigerator, if you've got ice packs where they're just laying around the house, Put them in the freezer so that'll help keep your refrigerator cold, okay? If not, you can put water bottles down in the freezer. Now, you can't drink that water after you freeze it in a plastic bottle. If you've got regular uh, 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 flasks and stuff, if you've got, you know, anything you can put water in, put it in the fridge now. Put as much liquid as you possibly can in the fridge. If you've got pop, put the pop in there. That'll help keep your refrigerator cold, okay? These are all things that I want you to think of. If you've got batteries to be recharged, recharge your batteries, okay? There's probably going to be looting that's going to take place after the storm goes by. If you've got weapons, you want your weapons staged in places where you can easily get to them. Now, I understand if you have kids, you know, you're going to have to be very, very careful. Uh, you know, put them up, up high, but you've got to be able to get to them quickly, Okay, if somebody's breaking into your house, you're only going to have a few minutes to, to, to be able to get to a weapon to take them out. All right? So I'm, I'm, and by the way, try to wait until they're in your house before you shoot them. In Florida, you're going to be okay if you shoot them. You just don't want to shoot them outside the house. Okay? Wait till they got that foot in the door and then blow their freaking head off. Okay? This is my advice to you. If you don't have a gun, put a baseball bat by the door. Okay? I'm just telling you, these are things that I want you to do right away. If you've got a car and you're in a low-lying area, drive that car up to a high place and park it, okay? In my community, we have a community center, okay? I have a garage, so I'm not worried about it. But if, if, if you're worried about flooding, okay, and you've been flooded before, if you flooded any time in the, in, the, in the last 15 years, you're going to flood this time. So get your vehicles to a high location and just leave them there and walk the heck back home. Or better yet, take a bicycle and ride your bike back to your house. Don't leave your vehicles in low-lying areas, okay? If there's anything you can do with uh, uh, sandbags, uh, I probably not. We're bitten a little bit too close to the storm at this point. Okay, that's... These are all the things that I can think of. If you've got toothbrushes, charge up your toothbrushes. If you've got razors, charge up your razors. I want you to look around the house and say, is there in charge your phones? Okay. If you if you have phones, I have a backup generator, so I'm not worried about it. But if you I want everything at 100 percent charge that you have uh, in your house that you charge up. Okay? All right. Uh, just an emergency message to get the word out. Mainly, get your vote in now. Get your vote in now. Okay, those people in North Carolina, by the way, 4,000 body bags have been ordered for North Carolina, if you didn't know that. I suggest you watch Redacted tonight. If you want to see what the impact of this hurricane is going to be, they're covering it in detail, okay, and crazy stuff. These black helicopters came in and they blew all of the supplies all over the place. So somebody's sabotaging the effort to, to rescue the people in North Carolina. Probably the same thing may happen here, probably not. Luckily, we have a Republican governor. North Carolina has a Democrat governor. Okay, I'm just telling you, that's just who the Democrats are. All right, peace out. 
stay free.